What's up, it's your boy LJ, and I'm back with another video, and man, this blew my mind. As you know, I make remixes, right? And I've always told people, I get my acapellas from YouTube, and if I search on YouTube and there's not an acapella for that specific song, I just don't make the video. It's really that simple. That's my process. I saw a few comments of people that are talking about these websites that can just make acapellas for you. And I was just like, no way, bro. There's no way that a website is just out here making a there's no way that a website is just out here making acapellas. And I just ignored it and I forgot about it. And then I, I heard this song on TikTok that's been stuck in my head forever. I tried to make a remix to it a few weeks ago, but there was no acapella for it. So I tried to finesse it, make my own acapella and it came out buns. I hated it. It was trash. I deleted it. So I was listening to the song again the other day and I was like, you know what, let me look up one of those websites. And lo behold, I downloaded the song on YouTube, dragged it into this website called acapellaextractor.com and it made the acapella, bro. Seriously? Holy crap. So yeah, um, it's legit. It's a real thing. And I'm gonna show you the website and exactly how I did it. Also, I'm gonna break down how I made the uh, Renee, you got it too too long you got it so let's dive right in all right so this is the website acapella-extractor.com go check it out right now i just downloaded this song boom dragged it there and i waited there it is ready to download i'm not gonna download it again but here's a snippet of the acapella hopefully this video doesn't get copyrighted let's see now it's not the best obviously it's not a studio acapella but it gets the job done go listen to the song right now so i don't have to get copyrighted and you can see that acapella was taken from this website so if you think that sounds solid then you see where i'm getting at i'm gonna be using this website more often anyway let's pull up the ableton project file so check it out, the only thing I really did to the acapella is I just took out the low end. <laughs> That's it, as you can see right here. I just hit EQ8, rolled off some of the low end, and it came out solid. Obviously, I slowed down the acapella, which kind of changes it a bit, and I lowered the tempo. Disclaimer, I don't know if it's a risky website. I've used it this one time, so use it at your own risk, I guess, but I'm gonna be using it from now on. If any issues occur, I will let you guys know, so. Let's get down to breaking down this remix. So the original key was in D major and the tempo was 109. So I pitched it down minus five, which brought it down to A major and I brought it down to 87 BPM. So first thing I did, actually, I've mentioned this before, but I lined it up with drums. So this was a drum loop, uh, like a cymatics drum loops and I chopped it up, put things where I wanted it to be, gave it a little more sass and came up with this. Then after that, I put these roads together right here. And then I layered it up with this organ from Onosphere. I find that layering roads with organs makes for a beautiful mixture. Lastly, I added this, this synth. It's kind of like a pluck, but it, it was with the chords. So on everything else in this beat is all for that same chord progression that I did with the roads originally. So this is how those sound. And that's pretty much just the intro. Now we know that the best part of the song is, you got it, you got it. So the song felt kind of long. At least that's what my girlfriend said when I sent it to her for feedback. 
So I ended up bringing the hook, which everybody cares about the most, to the front of the song, which changed a lot. A few more layers I added with that same chord progression was this arpeggio from Hybrid. This is like my OG arpeggio glass arp from Hybrid that I used to use all the time. So basically it's an arpeggio from Hybrid. Um, I EQ'd it and I put half time on it so it could slow down a bit. So next up obviously was the bass, hybrid, same bass I always use, soft soul bass. Now here's a little tip for all those FL Studio fanboys out there. If you didn't know, Ableton also has that feature where you can see things. It might not be as good as FL's version, but all you have to do is hold command on both MIDI regions that you want to highlight. So you just go boom, boom, and now we got both. These are the cores, which are blue. They're grayed out now, so you don't really get interrupted by them. And then these are the green ones. So pretty much I just use that to follow the bottom notes of the blue ones to really give me a gauge of where my bass should be. So yeah, come on, Ableton gang, come on. Keep it a bean, FL is a great DAW and Ableton has a lot of things that they can steal from FL for real. So keep it up Ableton. Anyway, next thing I added was this little, this little synth from Arcade. Nothing major, it's just like a little background texture just to add some variation. And then another arcade thing I added was this little, it's kind of, it's another synth, but I made this to kind of swell to the next section. That works really well to actually transition to the next section of the song, as I did here. That's the remix check it out this is what it looks like i think i put a card earlier in the vid but it'll also be at the end of this video and that's about it so i mean yeah main purpose of this video is to show you that website um extract acapellas.com bro it's, <laughs> it's that simple i can't believe i'm just now finding out about this honestly if you listen to the full remix you'll know the quality of it um and that being said this song didn't have too many different elements in it to begin with so uh, i'll definitely have to test it out with like i don't know like some Lil uzi or something something that has like a bunch of bass and different melodies going on and maybe the website isn't that good but for this one solid purpose i used it for it was fantastic and definitely worth checking out so go check it out if you like this video, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button if you want to see more. And thank you all for streaming the music. We're still on the road to 400k monthly listeners. I believe we're at like 360k right now, which is great. So L.DRE on all streaming platforms. I also have a new song dropping where my girlfriend sang on it. So I have a full YouTube video coming on that Friday, which is the same day that the song drops and it's cool so get excited all right <laughs> so i'll drop the pre-save link for that in the description i'm a table don't let anybody tell you what you can or cannot be thanks for watching eldry out mm -hmm.